Hello graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Strange Orbit Undermine from Kinsol Studio. Hi ho folks, there's gold in them the hills and gems. And now it's up to me to go and dig them out to earn my fortune. I've got my big axe, my helmet for safety, my brown clothes that already look dirty. What more could I need? But I've heard that some of the rocks are explosive. Better be careful. The game plays two to six players with mechanics such as action points, allowance, set collection, and modular board. The game is of light to medium complexity. In Undermine, players are miners, digging up the mountain, trying to find the most valuable gems to earn their fortunes and escape to safety. To set up the game, players assemble all of the rock and gem tiles to make a mountain, a different 3D assembly to explore every game. Then, game takes place in turns. On your turn, you have 10 action points to use however you want. But mostly, you'll be moving and mining. It costs one action point to move, either across or down one step, or two action points to climb up one step. And it costs two action points to mine, to dig up either the tile you're standing on or a tile you could legally move to and add it to one of your bags. Normally, you'll try to mine gems and ores as this is what will earn you money. But sometimes you need to mine the blank rocks to get them out of your way and carve a path through the mountain. <laughs> There's a gem up there and I can't reach it. Well, fortunately, what you dig up, you can also use to build paths. Spend an action point to move a tile from your bag back into the map, even under yourself to get access to hard to reach locations. Riches are limited in this mine, and players will do anything to beat each other to the best goodies. Move next to an opponent and spend three action points to steal the top item from one of their bags. Or spend four action points to push them away or knock them down. All of the best resources for me. Move back to your starting tile and deposit your resources for one action point each freeze up spaces in your bags and protects those gems from your opponents. Oh no! An explosion! This mountain is less stable than I thought. Players will come across bomb rocks, dangerous tiles, which can't be mined. But when you open up two adjacent spaces, the rock becomes unstable and explodes. After at least three bomb rocks have exploded, the mountain starts to collapse. At the start of each turn, the active player removes as many tiles from the outside of the mountain as they are bomb rocks on the stability track. It's time to get out here. Make your way back to your starting tile and extract for 6 action points. If you don't escape, you lose $10 from your final score. Rescues aren't cheap. Game ends when all players extract or when the mountain is gone. Finally, head to the commodities market to cash in your loot for money. But with one final twist, the economy has changed. Gold and diamonds are predictable, scoring $2 and $6 respectively. For the other gems, find out which one has been mined in the largest quantity by all players combined. The value of those gems plummets to $1, while all others are worth $3. Supply and demand, you know, that's life. Copper, on the other hand, is worth more money the more you find. Economy of scale. Once everything is cashed in, the player with the most money wins. <laughs> this mining work is tough enough without dealing with opponents and explosions. Each turn is its own puzzle, as you find the best way to spend your 10 action points and stay out of danger. Do I clear or build a path knowing other players can use it? Then once the mountain starts to collapse, 
how can I choose tiles to remove which inconvenience my opponents the most? Each character has an individual player power, a strong advantage in one area of the game which will drive your tactics. Things like mining multiple tiles at once, taking actions on other players' turns, or being able to climb large heights. There are also optional contracts which can be used, shared objectives which players can claim if they meet their requirements for even more cash grabs when you exit the mine. Oh, you still there? <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Check out Strange Orbit Undermine project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video and subscribe and hit the bell and comments below if you want to donate your gems and gold to me. Kidding. If you want me to make more of these videos or if you have any questions. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully I will see you there too. See you next time.